The Chevrolet Colorado has long been a favorite among mid-sized truck enthusiasts, known for its reliability and versatility. However, recent trends indicate a decline in its popularity. Despite its robust performance and strong brand reputation, the 2024 Chevrolet Colorado faces significant challenges. Unlike other models that offer a modern multi-link suspension system, the new Colorado still relies on leaf spring suspension to cut manufacturing costs. This reduction in flexibility is discouraging buyers who want more customizations to meet their specific needs. Moreover, other aspects such as interior design, technological advancements, and pricing strategies play crucial roles in the Colorado's declining sales. In this video, we explore each of these reasons in detail, providing insights and analysis that may surprise even the most loyal Chevrolet fans. So, watch until the end to understand why the new Chevy Colorado might not be the best choice for your next truck purchase. One of the most glaring issues with the Chevy Colorado is the cheap feel of its interior, especially on the lower trims like the work truck model. In these versions, the interior is dominated by hard plastics and inexpensive materials, which can make the cabin feel less inviting and more utilitarian the many buyers would prefer. This cost-cutting approach might be intended to keep prices low, but it often ends up deterring potential buyers who expect a certain level of quality even in basic trims. The prevalence of cheap plastic materials in the lower trims is a significant drawback. Everything from the dashboard to the door panels feels budget conscious, which can be disappointing for buyers who might have hope for a more premium feel. The steering wheel, often made from a plastic compound, adds to this perception of cheapness, detracting from the overall driving experience. Buyers in this segment are increasingly expecting better quality interiors, even in the most affordable models. The Chevy Colorado's reliance on leaf spring suspension in the rear is a major drawback in today's competitive midsize truck market. This type of suspension, while historically favored for its durability and load bearing capabilities, is increasingly seen as outdated. Leaf spring setups are excellent for heavy lifting and towing, which is why they're common in full size trucks, meant for industrial and agricultural use. However, for a mid-sized truck like the Colorado, this setup often results in a less refined and comfortable ride, particularly at highway speeds where stability and smoothness are crucial. In contrast, many of Chevy's competitors, such as Toyota, have adopted a more modern multi-link suspension system. This setup offers significant better driving experience, providing a smoother and more comfortable ride. Multi-link suspension excels at handling road imperfections and offers improved handling dynamics, which are highly valued by today's truck buyers who use their vehicles for work and daily commuting. The absence of a multi-link suspension in the Colorado is a glaring omission that affects its overall appeal. Drivers often report that the Colorado's ride feels floaty and unsettled, especially on uneven road surfaces. This not only impacts driver comfort, but also passenger satisfaction, which is a key factor for families and long distance travelers, where continuous bumps and vibrations become tiresome. The Chevy Colorado's limited configuration options are another significant drawback that diminishes its appeal to potential buyers. Currently, the Colorado is only available with a crew cab and a five foot bed which greatly restricts its versatility. In a market where consumers seek vehicles that can be tailored to their specific needs, this lack of choice is a considerable disadvantage. Competitors like the Toyota Tacoma and the Nissan Frontier offer a wide range of configurations, including extended cabs and longer bed options. These choices provide buyers with the flexibility to select a setup that best suits their lifestyle and work requirements. For example, an extended cab with a longer bed is highly desirable for contractors and business people who need the extra space to transport tools and materials. Without these options, potential Colorado buyers may feel compelled to look elsewhere for a truck that meets their practical needs. The Colorado's single configuration limits its appeal to a broader audience. Buyers who need a truck for both work and family use might find a crew cab and five-foot bed insufficient for their needs. The ability to opt for a longer bed also means less cargo space, which can be a critical factor for those who use their trucks for hauling large items. This limitation can be particularly frustrating for buyers who appreciate the truck's other features but find themselves unable to justify the purchase 
due to the lack of suitable configurations. The introduction of the 2.7 liter inline 4D turbo engine in the new Chevy Colorado has met with mixed reviews, primarily due to its rough performance. While this engine is known for its durability and heavy duty capabilities, it falls short in terms of smoothness and user friendliness. One of the most notable issues with this engine is the significant vibrations it produces, which are especially evident at idle and during low speed maneuvers. This can make the driving experience less pleasant as these vibrations often permeate the cabin leading to discomfort for both the driver and passengers. In comparison, the previous generation's V6 provided a more balanced and refined performance. The V6 was smoother, offering a more pleasant driving experience without the harshness associated with the new turbocharged inline four. The shift to a smaller turbocharged engine was likely driven by desire to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions, but it has come at the cost of overall driving comfort. The roughness of the new engine is particularly problematic on cold mornings, where drivers may struggle with additional vibrations and lack for immediate responsiveness until the engine warms up. These noticeable vibrations and the need for extra care during cold starts add an element of inconvenience that many buyers are unwilling to accept, especially when there are other options available in the market that do not have these issues. The absence of a diesel engine option in the new Chevy Colorado is a major downside that cannot be overlooked. Diesel engines have long been favored in the truck market for their superior torque, fuel efficiency, and longevity, making them ideal for heavy towing and long distance driving. The previous generation of the Colorado offered a 2.8 liter Duramax diesel engine, which was well regarded for its strong performance and excellent fuel economy. This engine provided substantial low end torque, making it a favorite among buyers who needed a reliable workhorse for towing and hauling. The decision to eliminate the diesel option in the latest Colorado lineup is puzzling, especially given the continued demand for diesel powered trucks. Diesel engines are not only efficient, but also offer better fuel economy over long distances compared to their gasoline counterparts. This efficiency is particularly important for truck owners who use their vehicles for work-related purposes, where fuel costs can significantly impact overall cost of ownership. Without a diesel option, Colorado loses a competitive edge, particularly against rivals that continue to offer diesel engines. The absence of hybrid or electric versions in the Chevy Colorado lineup is a significant oversight in today's automotive market. With a rising interest and demand for environmentally friendly vehicles, especially in states like California, the need for these options makes the Colorado less competitive. Consumers are increasingly looking for vehicles that offer better fuel efficiency and reduce environmental impact. And many are even willing to pay a premium for hybrid and electric models. This trend is evident in the success of competitors like Toyota and Ford, who have already introduced hybrid variants of their popular trucks. Hybrid and electric vehicles not only appeal to eco-conscious buyers, but also offer practical benefits such as reduced fuel costs and lower maintenance. The technology has advanced to the point where hybrid trucks can deliver impressive power and performance while significantly cutting down on emissions. For a brand like Chevrolet, which aims to be at the forefront of automotive innovation, the lack of a hybrid or electric Colorado is a missed opportunity to attract a broader customer base and align with future market trends. The Chevy Colorado's fuel economy is another area where it falls short compared to its rivals. The truck's low output version achieves up to 22 miles per gallon combined, while the high output version manages only 20 miles per gallon. While not terrible, these figures are far from impressive, especially in a market where fuel efficiency is becoming a key factor for buyers. The situation worsens with the use of all-terrain tires, as seen in the ZR2 Bison model, which can see fuel economy drop to as low as 16 miles per gallon. In an era where gas prices are continually fluctuating, buyers are increasingly prioritizing fuel efficiency when choosing a vehicle. Trucks with better fuel economy not only save money at the pump, but also reduce the overall environmental impact. Competitors like Toyota and Ford are addressing this demand by introducing hybrid models that offer significantly better fuel efficiency. By not following suit, the Colorado risks being perceived as outdated and less economical in the long run. The Chevy Colorado faces significant criticism for its cabin comfort particularly regarding space in the rear seats. This issue is especially noticeable for taller passengers, 
who may find that legroom insufficient for comfortable long-distance travel. In an age where mid-sized trucks are expected to provide not just utility, but also comfort, this shortcoming can be a major deterrent for potential buyers. The cramped rear seats are a problem across many mid-sized trucks, but the Colorado seems to be particularly affected. Taller passengers often struggle with legroom, making the back seats uncomfortable for extended periods. This limitation is a significant drawback for families or groups who plan to use a truck for long trips. The discomfort can turn what should be a pleasant journey into an ordeal, detracting from the overall appeal of the vehicle. In comparison, some competitors have made strides in improving interior space and comfort. Vehicles like the Ford Ranger and Honda Ridgeline offer more spacious and comfortable rear seating, making them more attractive to buyers who value passenger comfort. The lack of space in the Colorado's cabin thus stands out as a significant flaw particularly in a market where comfort and practicality are increasingly important. As you can see, the new Chevy Colorado has several significant issues that ultimately diminish its appeal. So, what are your thoughts on the new Chevrolet Colorado? Do you think these issues are deal breakers or would you still consider buying one? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth reviews and insights on trucks. Until next time, Happy driving.